all right guys what's going on first off i hope this video goes through because i have been trying to make videos for the past almost week and to no avail um i switched back over uh because my old phone my zte max pro which is discontinued they don't make it anymore it's actually banned from the united states because it's made in like a foreign country that is beefing with us so i got the screen fixed i was using that phone it was working fine and then one day my screen started flashing off and on and i think it started in one of my videos that i did when i was in savannah matter of fact it was the same video that i bought the ed hardy love and luck and hearts and daggers fragrance when i was in uh, savannah georgia and it actually i think started that day or a couple of days before that it started acting up and so uh it finally gave out so i had to switch back to my original old phone which is a lot smaller and of course it doesn't hold as much memory and it kept saying my internal storage or, or something like that was full and I deleted all my files, all my videos, all my pictures. I cleared caches. I cleared everything I could think of. And it would not let me record a video for nothing. I even did um, a top 10 list of favorite fragrances from my collection. And it had a special guest, which was my friend I'm always talking about. I let her pick 10 fragrances out of my collection that she likes on me. And... We did a video it didn't upload i then did like two or three other videos in between that time and those wouldn't upload so finally today um, i went and got some memory and uh hopefully this works and let me hit the kool-aid real quick because uh i'm a little parched i've been running around all day Alright, so, I got some catching up to do, but I'm not going to do it all right now because I actually want to lay down and at least get me about 30 minutes worth of rest because my feet are killing me. But <clears throat> my fragrance of the day, I'm not even going to go into a note breakdown because I'm kind of backing away from that. But I've seen... Uh, one or two other reviewers uh, talk about this fragrance, and it is from the house of uh, Kenneth Cole, and it is Blue by Kenneth Cole. This is the box. And when I first bought it, I think this was between like 12 and $15, maybe 20 pushing it. Um, I don't remember whether this came from TJ Maxx or Bell's. I think this came from Bells. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's, it's a cheapie. Trust me. Um, I know my guy Trey Sense um, talked about it. And he said it was pretty good. Which is actually, he's the one who um, had me interested in trying it. And when I initially sprayed it, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't like it. Um, it smelled like a below average aquatic summer scent um if nautica voyage was here this one i felt like was like down here but actually smelling this today and getting that one compliment that i did get early this morning um it was a cna or a nurse told me um as she walked past me she told me that i smelled good so that's a plus in my book and just that one compliment boosted that fragrance up to here to my standard now i don't know what anybody else thinks about this i know uh trey sense likes this um i actually like it too if you want this to last you have to spray heavy because even though this smells good it don't last long and i spray the absolute shit out of this one today and i don't think i reapplied i don't think yes i did i did reapply um soon as i got to work i actually sprayed this on uh 
uh, when I got to work and then like a few minutes after that I sprayed some more on to make sure I was projecting so one compliment with this um, I don't know the note breakdown uh, if you guys want to know more about this fragrance I'm pretty sure you all know where to go Fragrantica um, whatever other website that does note breakdowns check it out if you see this laying around I think it's worth a buy not for somebody like I always said this is not for somebody who has one of them niche or high-end uh, quality cologne collections this would not work for them um, they would probably turn their nose up at this if they even saw somebody picking this up um, so somebody like me who lives within their means and is on a budget and likes to buy budget friendly fragrances this is perfect i like this a lot and i'm glad i picked it up so thanks trey sense for the assist on this one next up i took a short trip well it's like a 45 minute trip uh, first off, I'm going to do this one. I've seen people start to do some rumbling about this uh, specific fragrance. And this is the first time I've actually seen it. Don't know how long this has been out. Uh, don't know the note breakdown on it or anything like that. But anyone who is looking for a... Before I say the name, let me grab some stuff. Okay, so, of course, I have smelled the original fragrance that these two mimic. I think I have one more that actually smells like it, but if anyone knows about Blue de Chanel, and you know that um, that's a very popular fragrance, some people like it, some people don't like it. I'm one of the ones who actually likes the fragrance, but that price, as you know, Chanel is expensive and if you can find it for cheap somewhere get it but I can't afford that price so obviously I look for a Blue Day Chanel clone and one of them is Perry Ellis by Perry Ellis and Ash from Gent Sense actually is the one who put me on this so thanks Ash for the assist on this one I like the scent of this no, it is not a direct clone of it. It does not smell exactly like it. It does not perform like it either. Uh, this one actually does not last that long, but it smells great. Um, I actually enjoy wearing this one. It's very refreshing. Um, but the one I picked up a few minutes ago actually cost me like $6.99, and it is from the house of Cuba, and this is Cuba Shadow. And I actually saw this, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday online. I know uh, my guy Fragrance Obsessions uh, posted a video of him picking this up. And he was the one who said it reminds me of Blue Day Chanel. I tried to look up the videos on this. And nobody really has a video on this except for a bunch of Hispanic people. And I don't understand Mexican or, you know, whatever language. So, I don't see anyone who has done a review on this, and if they have, I haven't seen it. But I did try to pull the videos up, and all the videos I got were in Spanish. So, this is supposedly a Blue Day Chanel clone, and actually, it does smell like it, but it's like a sweeter version. It's like a sweet version of it. Um... These two are actually different, but they have that Ambroxan type feel to it. Both of them do. Now, there may not be Ambroxan in these, but something is giving it an Ambroxan type vibe. And I actually got in the vehicle after, I can still smell it on my hand. And I bought it probably like maybe an hour ago. I sprayed it on my hand. 
And I actually was in the heat. And it smells good as hell. Actually, the scent in this smells better to me than this one. But this is like a bubble, a bubble gum to me type sweetness with that Ambroxan, that Blue de Chanel DNA on me, on my hand where I sprayed it. It did not last long. Uh, this is something I probably would not wear in the heat just because of the sweetness that I'm getting from it. Uh, which is not going to please a lot of people, uh, especially if you have on something sweet and the heat turns it up and it's going to turn it against you. But for $6.99, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there who will enjoy this. I, in particular, like the smell, but just for the simple fact that it doesn't last long, I don't care for it. I am going to probably try and wear it uh, just to give it a testing and see what happens. But if anybody is interested in this one and don't want to, you know, run the Ross and pick it up or look for it, $6.99 for this one. If you give me 6 bucks, you can have it. Um... I was even thinking about doing a package deal and throwing in uh, Cuba Winter and Cuba Royal along with this one and do some kind of package deal because I don't really, I like all three of those fragrances. They just don't last long on me. They smell great, but maybe somebody else can get some enjoyment out of them. Um, so if anybody's interested in uh, Cuba Shadow, Cuba Winter and Cuba Royal, Royale or Royal, however you want to say it, let me know. So this one came from Ross here, where I live. And these next two I bought from Jacksonville, Florida. And this one actually came from Marshalls. And let me tell you guys something. For it to be, this, this is exactly what I mean when it comes to fathers not getting recognition. Um, Mother's Day, the women's section was packed full of fragrances. I mean, it was an overabundance of fragrances. They were everywhere, gift sets, single bottles, everywhere. They Mother's Day hats and dresses and whatever else that was out. Father's Day, I walked into Marshall's today and I was, it almost put me in a state of depression. I walked in and the men's cologne section was depleted. It was like an overabundance of, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, the Beverly Hills Polo fragrances, like the gold and, you know, whatever that nobody really cares for. It was like plenty of those. It, all that cheap shit that, that's always in abundance when you go to discounters. There is a lot of that shit. The only good thing I think I saw was uh, Dolce & Cabana Italian Zest. But I'm, I, I didn't like the original Dolce & Cabana. Um, and I've smelled some of the flankers too. Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. And... I wasn't impressed, and so I was not finna spend, what was it, like 50 or $60 for Italian Zest, and it was a few other fragrances that they had, like Dolce & Gabbana, the one that they, they did have the Eau de Parfum, but it was like 60 bucks for a 50 ml, the gift sets were like $60, um, they had some off-brand shit that I was curious about. One of them said, one of them was Live, uh, Live something. Damn, I can't remember the name of it. But it was some off-brand type fragrance. And I looked it up online. I Googled it. It pulled up the picture of the fragrance. It told me, uh, you know, some information. But it didn't give a note breakdown. So, I don't know what the hell. It was two fragrances from that same company. Like an off-brand company. Um... It was a few other fragrances um, that I was looking at, but I really wasn't interested. So when I was about to walk out the door, 
right by the register, I noticed that they had another shelf, you know, like how they put the candy at the front register. So when the kids walk up, it's enticing them. That's what they did with some fragrances. They just stuck some shit on a shelf right at the front register. And um, it was like a few gift sets, some singles. And the only thing that really caught my eye that I was interested in, besides Artisan by John Varvatos, but it was like, I think, 40 or 50 bucks. And it came with a scarf. Um, but I passed on that one. So what I did pick up is Guess 1981 Indigo. And if you guys remember the video that I did a while back, one of my subscribers sent me a sample of the fragrance and you remember I made a big deal about a big joke about it he even laughed about it and I said how horrible this smell and I told him today that this cannot be the same fragrance that you sent me that I'm smelling today because this right here is amazing this is some good shit and you can see I had already opened it. And I paid $14.99 for it. If you can see it. And this is definitely not what I smelled in this bottle. And I'm going to show you the difference. Either, either this went bad during shipping or he actually sent me the wrong fragrance. Look at the color difference. This one is actually a lot lighter than this one and it could just be because of the volume it's a lot a lot less volume than it is in here this is a lot darker to me but, <clears throat> but this smells nothing like this like you can smell the fruitiness in this and I actually I actually like this a lot and I almost missed out this is nice you get that coconut and whatever else is in this this is nice this is a 50 ml bottle and I paid uh, like I said $14.99 so about $16 is some change with taxes and everything so I'm glad I finally ran into it the last time I seen this for men I was in Burlington Coke Factory and I sent him a video of it just being an ass because it was like a little while after he sent me this monstrosity whatever the hell is in this and it could just be it went bad but i don't know i this is not what's in that bottle i'm sorry i don't care what nobody says this shit is horrible but this is nice and i kept wondering because i kept hearing people i was telling people about guess 1981 not the indigo just 1981 that shit smells good i like that when I kept seeing people post this and say that this smells good and I'm smelling this, I'm like, yeah, there is no fucking way that y'all are smelling the same fragrance that I'm smelling coming out of this vial. There is no way. So, luckily I ran into this today and I have it now and I'm glad I did get it. So, um, that goes to show stay persistent. Um, and sometimes... <clears throat> you got to go with your gut and that's what I did I went with my gut everybody kept saying that this is nice this smells good and I'm glad I got it so last but not least this one actually came like I said from Marshalls I went to TJ Maxx which is next to Ross in Fernandina Beach after I left Marshall's, which is actually in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, excuse me. So, I didn't find anything at TJ Maxx. But I went to Ross first. And Ross didn't have anything. And I think I was on my last leg. Like, I walked around the shelf. I'm looking. And I finally ran into something. And I was like, oh, shit. I've been looking for the, the original long version of this but i got lucky and got the intense version and this is long lacoste intense this is the eau de toilette version and i paid 20 i think it was 25.99 or 24.99 it was like 26 
$27 for a 50ml of this. And I got in the truck and I sprayed it. And I like this a lot. Now, I've heard some people say that they don't like this. I've seen people wanting to trade this and the original Loam Lacoste. And I don't see why. Maybe because of the sweetness. Because a lot of people aren't into sweet fragrances. But I am a sucker for them. And it's not really that sweet. This is more masculine and manly like. I like it a lot. And I can't wait to try it. And see what happens. But um, this is pretty good. I like this bottle. It is not see through. That sucks because you don't know how much juice you have in here. But whatever the case may be, this is Lone Lacoste Intense. So I overall think I did a pretty good job today buying some fragrance. I didn't overspend because um, I have some other things I need to do like buy groceries. I do have to ship off some fragrances. Um, also... I have some deals that's been lingering around and I've been trying to wait till I get paid. So hopefully I can get these sent out. Um, I'm doing swaps. I actually, besides doing that, um, that top 10 uh, fragrances with my friend, I did a video uh, of a bunch of fragrances that I am wanting to trade for some stuff. Or if someone's interested in buying something from me, then that's cool also. No, I'm not going to tear people's head off when it comes to fragrances because a lot of my stuff is inexpensive anyway. So, you know, anywhere from the 10 to maybe $20 mark is about all you're going to pay depending on the fragrance. Now, I do have one or two, maybe three that I did pay a little more for. So, I am going to probably bump that price up a little bit to try to get as close to the price I paid for it, a lot of this stuff I've only sprayed just to test. So, it is what it is. I'll try to do that video if this one goes through and let you guys know what's up. So, thank you guys. The ones of you who contacted me and was asking me what's up. Um, they haven't heard anything from me. They haven't seen any new videos. I tried to respond and my phone wouldn't let me. So, hopefully, me buying this car... Uh, Memory card will help alleviate some of my problem. And um, your boy is back. So y'all, you guys can relax now. Hopefully this works out. And um, I'm out of here. Peace.